Before we begin today's video, I want to share something very cool with you that I recently got introduced to, and that is a fragrance brand called Dossier. You guys know that fragrances for me personally have been pretty tough in the past with my allergies, and there's a lot of things I can't breathe around. But even with those struggles, I have found a few that I have grown to become very fond of. The only issue is they happen to be extremely expensive, way more than I can, you know, way more than I can even really afford. And, and what caught my eye about this particular company is that they offer fragrances that are inspired by iconic and popular perfumes and fragrances, but they offer theirs at a much more reasonable price. And I'm not talking about some cheap reproduction fragrance oils or anything like that. I'm talking about professionally made fragrances that are honestly sourced, clean and cruelty free and dedicated to craftsmanship. I personally chose three to take a look at here that are inspired by Creed's famous Aventus and Silver Mountain Water and Salvage by Dior. And I'm telling you, they all three just smell incredible, but that isn't even the best part. The best part was that all three together were hundreds less than one bottle of one of the big name brands. The two that are based on the Creed fragrances, for example, were 49 bucks. And the last one based on Dior was only 29 bucks. And they're pretty good size. I mean, we're not talking little sample sizes either. These are like, you know, nice size 50 milliliter bottles. So if you are interested in taking a look at these, there is a coupon code in the description there that can save you even more money on your next bottle. And I do want to extend a big thank you over to Dossier for sending these out. And if you're in the market for high quality fragrances at a decent price, I highly recommend you check them out. Now on today's episode. What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to have some fun with a good old fashioned unboxing with some new stuff from the Mailroom Barber. <laughs> All right, so the Mailroom Barber is a brand that I don't think I've talked enough about here on the channel, but it's actually a brand that I really enjoy. I think there's many great things about this brand that we could, you know, list and go through forever, and perhaps one day we will have the chance to do just that, but we've got business to attend to today. We've got some new stuff, and they were gracious enough to ask me if I wanted to unbox all their new stuff and reveal it to all of you amazing people. So we are going to experience all of this together, and no, this will not be a full review of what's in here this is mainly just a showcase of you know what what is in this box I'm just gonna unbox it and show it to you, give you guys a close-up if there is something though that you would like to specifically see me go ahead and do a full review on comment down below and I will see if we can't make that happen for you in a future episode and to be totally honest with you I've taken a peek already at what's inside this box I, I've already seen it I'm just gonna be straight up with you I, I'd be very excited to review anything that's in this box so I hope the comments come rolling in but for now we got business to attend to I got my new unboxing knife and I know what you're thinking this is overkill for opening packages right no no it's not it's it absolutely is but let's just jump into it let's just get going here top down angle please here we go let's slice let's slice this thing open here and I'm, I have cut myself with this once. I really don't want to do it on the camera. So I'm going to set this right there. And ooh, here we go. All right. So I'm going to give you guys... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna list what's in the box. Then I'm gonna give you guys a close up. That's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna do do it all. You know, try to keep it semi uh, uh, coordinated here. Let's jump into it first. Ooh, let's start from this side. Here we go. The matte clay paste, plant based. Check this out. I really love the label here. Medium hold, high texture. Looks like a water-based matte clay paste. Matte paste. Maybe it's uh, like an in-between, you know, like a, a matte paste and a clay. Who knows? If you want to see a review of it, comment down below. We'll take a look. It is water-based, though. I can tell you that. Uh, it looks like medium hold and high texture, so that looks pretty interesting. But let's set this off to the side now and pick up the next jar here, which is Texture Cream. This one is a conditioning pre-styler. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. A conditioning pre-styler, plant-based, just like the other one. It, it is uh, water-based, but it is plant-based, so they use plant-based ingredients, starting first with water, though, so that is a water-based product. The direct on this one is pretty interesting. It says to apply to damp hair before blow drying to protect from heat damage and enhance the use of other product. But that is the texture cream. All right, going over there. Moving now into the first of three bottles. We have styling powder. Okay, we got a texture powder here, refined texture. Inside here, looks like we got some arrowroot powder, kaolin. So kaolin, bentonite, two clays. Good. We got some scent going on there. Some 
tea tree leaf oil probably to stop the hair from drying out. These are important things that you got to look at when making a powder. Nice size too. This is a full three ounce bottle. This is a good size for a texture powder here. Looks like it would be pretty uh, cool to try out though. So if you guys want to see that comment down below. Moving on now over to the first of two sprays. We have texture salt spray. Okay, so we got a sea salt spray. Tacky hold and gritty texture. Plant-based, 3.4 ounces. This is aloe leaf juice based. That's always good. Aloe is really great for your hair and scalp. So that's that's pretty cool. Designed by barbers just like the other ones from the mailroom barber. Tacky hold and gritty texture. This is 3.4 ounces. So this is a nice size. There we go texture salt spray and as this one heads over to the side pile that is uh that's our last product here let me toss this okay and that's all we got for the unboxing here. That's some awesome new stuff we've got from the Mailroom Barber. I'd love to feature these guys more on the channel. So if you guys want to see more from them, comment down below. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the matter. They are a very cool brand. So again, if you'd like to see more from them and more content like this, go ahead and smack that subscribe button there and hit that like button for me as well. It's a huge help to me. Thank you very much for joining me here on the channel. I'm moving my camera robot out because that's it for this video. Thank you very much for joining me here on the channel. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.